This module is sponsored by the Children's Services Council of Broward County. Hi, welcome to Lowe's. Hi, I'm Penny and these are the Kid Vision VPK kids and we're doing a project today. We'd like to find out how to make bookends. Oh, wonderful, you came to the right place. We could definitely help you with that project. First, we're gonna need a how-to book to get started. Okay. Follow me. So kids, well, this is our do-it-yourself book section where we have all the projects in books. This book right here is gonna be perfect for us. This has got all the plans for making a bookend. So let's take a look at what we've got and what we need. So it looks like we're going to need some wood, some screws, some L brackets, and some paint. Okay, you want to put it in the cart? Let's get started. Here we go. Good job. So we have a lot of different wood here at Lowe's, but I think what we really need is this piece right here. As you can see, guys, there are different sizes on these little labels here and they tell us which piece we're going to need and I know from our instructions in the book that this is the perfect size piece so we're going to take this one right here and as you can see it's pretty big it so we're going to need to measure it and cut it to the size that we need you guys want to go over to the saw and see how we do that yes awesome wow look at us working together here we go okay you ready good job ladies We are at the saw. As you can see, this is a really big saw. And the most important part about the saw is we have to be safe. So I have some special stuff for you guys to keep everybody safe while we use the saw. These are glasses to protect your eyes. So I'll give you a pair and I'll give you a pair to put on. Thank you. You're welcome. And because you guys are my special helpers today, I am also gonna give you an apron to keep your clothes oh. safe and clean. You put that over your head. Very good. Now we are all ready to use the saw. So what we need to do first is this is a pretty big piece of wood, right? So we need to make sure it's the right size for our bookends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this is a tape measure, and it shows us how long this piece of wood is. So what I'm gonna do is I know that we need six inches. So we're going to measure this at six inches and then 12 inches. And now we're ready to cut. Watch. I never saw the biggest saw ever before. Yeah, and he's going to go make that come down. He has yeah. to push okay, now buttons. we're ready. Everybody ready? You can cover your ears if you don't like loud noises. That's okay. Here it goes. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yes. And that is our first piece of wood for our bookends. Wow, look at that. That is so awesome. Yeah, now we each need four pieces of wood. Yes. So we're going to cut some more. Are you ready? Yes. Hold your ears. Was our last piece and we are set. There you go. We're gonna put it in the basket. Good job, we are ready. Thank you. So we have our wood. Now we need the last little pieces to make our project complete. One of them is what we call an L bracket. 
Can anyone guess why they're called L brown? Because they're shaped like an L. Very good. That's excellent. They are shaped like an L. And you can see that there's little screws inside there too. Can you see the, the tops? And these are our two screwdrivers that we're going to need to use. This is called a flathead screwdriver, and this is called a Phillips head screwdriver. Can you guys guess which one we're going to use for these screws? The Phillips head screwdriver. Very good. Why do you because think? Because it has these, and it fits in top, and it fits inside the screws head. Perfect. That's exactly right. So we're going to need these. Can you guys put those in our basket? And we are ready to start building. There you go. I think each of them need one of those. So we yes, need we need one. a few of those, and we're going to get some extra we screwdrivers. Have one, two. Perfect. Three, so that each one of you have a set. Now all we need is paint. We're ready to build our bookends. We have all of our materials right in front of us. We have wood. wood. We have screwdriver. a screwdriver. And what kind of screwdriver is this? A Phillips head. And what is this? A Phillips head screw. Yes, the Phillips head screwdriver goes into the Phillips head screw. And we're going to use that with our? L bracket. An L bracket, remember? And why does it, it's called an L bracket? Because it's shaped like an L. What is this called? A hammer. A hammer. Now that we have all of our materials for the bookends, I'm going to use Miss Penny's to show you guys what we're going to do next. We're going to take one of our L brackets and we're going to place it on a piece of wood just like this so that it's right to the edge. Can everybody do that so I can see? And then we'll take one of our little screws and our little hammer and we're going to just hold this screw over one of the little holes with it lined up and we'll just give it a couple taps with the hammer to get it started. And once we have the screw started a little bit, we take our screwdrivers and we begin to turn. So we're going to be turning the screwdriver right and they, they, there's an old saying, they call it righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you guys are cranking it right. You guys are doing a great job. Ready to decorate. Good job, you did it. Damn. Awesome. Oh, we're painting, we're putting oh, on numbers, we're doing awesome. some more hammering. We're building our bookends. Everyone's making theirs different. You did an amazing creative job on your bookends. Really well done. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you guys for coming to Lowe's. You did an outstanding job with your bookends. I'm so proud of all of you. Come back and see us sometime soon, okay? We will. You. You're welcome. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you so much. You're welcome.